day. Welcome back to the Intermediate Tutorial Series Lesson 21. We're going to be talking about scrolling today and some other junk. I'll get to that later. It's been uh, it's been a couple of weeks. Been down with the the good old flu. If you go back to Lesson 20 and you listen very carefully, you can actually hear the virus particles, you know, replicating duplicating themselves in my cells so yeah but that's all done and hopefully out of my system now if my voice sounds weird well I got a little bit of the cough left but who am I kidding my voice always sounds weird so maybe it's an improvement hey maybe I should get sick more often alright so uh, what are we gonna do today well we're gonna do a couple things I'm going to make a prediction. This episode is going to be about two hours long. And you might be saying, oh God, not another long episode. But this is going to be way easier on the brain than the last one. At least easier on my brain. Because it's easier to explain. This is kind of lightweight stuff. This is the fluffy stuff. These are the little marshmallows that you get in your Lucky Charms. I love those little marshmallows. Okay, so yeah. So we're going to be doing scrolling. And of course, we're not going to be doing it in like a kick-ass, chili type way. We're going to make scrolling hip. We're bringing it back, people. But before we talk about that, I got I got a little uh, extra bonus thing that we're going to do. And we got a little bit of uh, housekeeping to do. So let's start off with the housekeeping. We start off eating our broccoli and then we skip to the ice cream. So... Let's take a look at where we are at. <clears throat> so we got this dumb, this dumb dude is running around. But what I don't like is I don't like that stupid rectangle. It looks like a freaking rectangle is sliding all over the place. I mean, that is exactly what is happening in our simulation. But I don't like to actually have it just hanging out there. I want to pretend like this is a dude running. It's not just a rectangle sliding around. So we're going to get rid of this, <clears throat> and that's going to solve that problem. But we've got another thing, another little loose end that I forgot to take care of on the end of last episode, and that is in-game. So let's take the care of this. Here we go. So we're drawing all of the, uh, the tiles that we're colliding with, but if you noticed, we're not drawing any of them anymore because we don't collide with them. Or we do collide with them. But then we correct that collision before we hit the Compose Frame, so they never get drawn. So we can get rid of that because it is superfluous. And now that we've gotten rid of a bunch of other junk, let's go to Sprite. <clears throat> and we don't need this anymore, motherfuckers. I told you I was going to get rid of it. Die. You ain't touching any of my privates unless I say so. Get rid of those accessories. Keeping our sprite class lean and mean. Look at this interface, man. Is that the most minimalistic interface you ever did see? I do believe it is. Keeping it simple. And not really simple. It's actually complicated. It's all under the hood, you see. It's like people. Like, you look at them. They're like a face. They're wearing a suit. But inside, there's all these, like, gutsy parts that are squishing and, squ and exuding and... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I, can, I don't know what it is. But it's all nasty inside. People are nasty inside. Lots of juices. But you never see that. You only see the, 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 the face and the suit. The, the shades. Oh, I gotta stop rambling. Okay, what was I doing? Okay, let's build this. Make sure I didn't fuck anything up. It's always good to not fuck shit up before you continue. And go, and of course it's going to work fine. <clears throat> Much better. Without that ugly rectangle. So, that's the cleanup part done for for now. <clears throat> so, part two. We start scrolling, except we don't, because we we're going to take care of a little business before we start scrolling. Now, to do scrolling the way I want to do scrolling, we are going to need a new class. We're going to need a rectangle class. But it will be a rectangle of integers. That's right, a rect of ints, a rect i. And all we have is a rect f. So how do we solve this conundrum? Well, 
the most straightforward and obviously not the right answer, because I never like to do things straightforward here, you know how I run this ship, would be to go project, make a new item, add a class called Wrecked Eye, copy this bullshit, paste it in, replace Wrecked F with Wrecked Eye, replace all these floats with ints, and we would be done. That would be the the easiest way kind of in a way that's the way you would do it but that's not the way I'm gonna do it we're gonna do it with templates we're gonna make a template class people and it is gonna be epic maybe not but we're gonna do it anyways cuz I, I feel like this is a teachable moment I normally don't use templates when I program I feel they're more a thing that you need to use uh, when you're like writing a like a library, like a general purpose library to, for people to use over and over again. <clears throat> they're kind of overkill for most situations, but I just felt it fit in so well in this situation. It's such a teachable moment. So we're gonna do it. We're gonna make um we're gonna make it happen. Why does it not like this? Cannot open. Oh, <laughs> I see what you did there. I see what you did there, you motherfucker. Delete it. Oh, I want to delete it so hard. Okay, let's try this again. For those of you who didn't realize, I fucked it up again. I did the, I did the thing that I wasn't supposed to do. And it's good. See, this is actually the second take I did of this. And the first one I did it all, I did perfect. I didn't, well, I didn't do it perfect, obviously, because I'm doing a second take now. But I didn't fuck that part of it up. At least I got the assets folder right. Okay, so we start off with this for our thing. Everything's good now. And so we're going to, uh, we're going to make, of course, we call the, the include file rect, so we're going to call our class, our template class, rect. Mm. So we're going to go find and replace rect f with rect in just in this document for now. Place all seven occurrences, that sounds good. Now, how do you make a template class? Template class is a class that um, has some part of its definition that is variable depending on a template um, template parameter, I guess what you'd call it. So first you've got to say what your template parameter is. So you go template and class T. So T is the name of the parameter and it's going to be a class. And just to be clear on this, class can include ints and floats and all that simple data, but it can also include, you know, more complicated classes. So, template, class T, class rec. So now that we need a class, template class, and the template parameter is T. And that parameter is going to be a type that is going to be the type used to store the, uh, the positions. So we say T top, T bottom, T left and T right. So now the types of our variables, our member variables, are going to be T. <clears throat> what else? Well, just copy this. Obviously, when we initialize, we're going to want to initialize with T, type T, whether it be float or int or whatever. And yeah, that's about it. Done. That was fast, wasn't it? So yeah, that's uh, that's how you make a template class. Now, <clears throat> obviously, uh, things like rect f or whatever, rect by itself isn't going to work. It's rect it used to be rect f and rect f here, but I find and replaced it away. But um, <clears throat> yeah, rect by itself isn't going to fly. We got to do like rect float. I'll do this rect f list. If we did that, that would make this fine. See what we did here? We got a uh, we've got a template class inside of another template class. That's templateception. <clears throat> Is that okay, am I cool? Can I still say that without being 
Ugh, whatever. Uh, so yeah, so now we've got our template class. What are we going to do with it? First, we're going to say, hey, rect f class, fuck you, shitbag. And we're going to go all throughout our solution. Yeah, we're going to find <clears throat> and replace rect f dot h. Ah, oh, you fucker. Oh, good. Came back with rec.h entire solution go three times okay so now we've gotten rid of all of our uh, rect f's and what do you think what do you think it's gonna be like we mean we got rid of all our include rect f's why is this still working? I have the feeling that this shouldn't be underlined in red. Let me go over here. Here we go. Yeah, here we go. See, it doesn't like it. Do not want, it says. Do not want rect f. What is? So this isn't good anymore. Rect f obviously isn't a thing anymore because we got rid of it. Now it's all about the rect, but it's actually all about the rect uh, angle bracket something. So if we did this, it would be happy. But we'd have to do it here, or uh, I don't know. We'd have to do it in lots of different places. Everywhere we basically everywhere we see a rect f, we'd have to replace it with rect f float. That would be a pain in the ass. We could do find and replace, but I got a better idea. I got a way sexier way to do this, because you know how I like it when it's so sexy. Oh, um. So we go down here. And we go type def rect float rect f. So we make a new type called rect f, and it's just basically rect with the template parameter specified as being a float. And so to be, you know, I don't know, stop that. Consistent. Place that in there. And that works fine now because, of course, it's a thing. Rect f is now a thing. Go to con collision rectangle. Now rect f is fine. Everyone loves it. They're loving it. So let's try to build a solution. Good build. Succeeded. Everybody's happy. Everybody's kung fu fighting. Let's just run it to make sure. To prove that I'm not, that I'm not, I don't know, pissing on your leg and telling you that it's raining. Is that the expression? Yeah, it works fine. Okay, so, good. Templates work good. We like templates. Now, <clears throat> let's prove that they were worthwhile. We're going to go into this thing here because it's convenient. And we're going to go rect f, r1, um, yeah, 0 0.0f, 1.0f, 2.0f. 3.0f. Good. Rect i. Wait. Rect i isn't a thing yet. Let's make it re let's make rect i a thing. We do that by going into rect and going type def rect int rect i. There. Now it's a thing. Rect i r2. That was not even close to R2. R2, 0, let's make this one uh, 4, 5, 6, 7. So now we have rect I R2, rect I R1. We can do both of those things and they're all good. Integer rectangles, float rectangles. You can make a rectangle of anything as long as the operators fit. Um, what else? Well, let's try this. R2, let's try uh, rect i R2 is equal to R1. How does that work? No, it doesn't work. You can't assign a rect f to a rect i because they're two different classes. Even though they come from the same template, they're not the same thing. No suitable user-defined conversion from rect f to rect i. What does this mean? What is this user-defined conversion that you speak of? Blasphemy. Actually, you can make functions 
that automatically convert from uh, one class type to another. And they're kind of cool. Some people say they're not good and you shouldn't touch them. They're black magic. But you know what? I say fuck those people. Fuck them in the ass. With a dragon dildo. Let's do it. Let's make it. Let's make a user-defined conversion function. How do you do that? Well, mm, what you can do is you go operator, because user-defined conversions are operators, and then you type the type name that you want to convert to. So we're going to say we want a conversion function that converts into uh, rect int. And then you do this. And you put a const in there because your conversion operator usually doesn't change the object. You're just converting, right? And then you just uh, you return a rect int. So you go return rect int. Mm. And you go uh, int top int bottom int left int right and that was how you would make a conversion operator to convert from any rect type into rect int let's do it now let's go back to our game and you see it likes it it likes it just fine it's like yeah this is cool we can do that uh we're cool let me just build it i want to make double sure i want to make you double sure that i'm not pulling a fast one on you conversion operators work and they're sexy. They're so sexy. Uh, now let's try this. Let's try to convert from rect i into a rect f. Doesn't like it. Doesn't like it because uh, we don't have a conversion function for that. See, it says it right here. No suitable user defined conversion from our rect i to our rect f. Doesn't happen. Can't happen. Won't happen. Because this one only is for rect int, converting into rect int. But what if we wanted to convert to rect float? Well, we'd have to make another one for float. Or is there a better way? Of course there is. We can make a template function inside of our template class, which is another kind of template exception. It's insane. We go template. And uh, again, class, we'll, say, we'll call this one t2. And then we go operator rect t2. So now the type the con the uh, the type that we're converting into is the template type, and it can be any type. Any type of rect can be the type we can convert into any type of rect. And all we do to convert into that type of rect is convert all the components to that type. So we just put a t2 in here, and look at that. Look at this baby. Now this works. And if we flip it around also works anything can work I can make a fucking I'm gonna make you a special wrecked unsigned long long is that a thing I think that's a thing don't don't quote me on this um our long is equal to r1 and it still works good it worked because I wasn't sure it was gonna work so we can make any kind of rect we want, and we can convert from other types to that type automatically. It's like magic in my pants, making them kind of tight, you know? Not quite too messent, but, uh, you know, again, a little floppy is what I'm trying to say. Okay, I said too much. Uh, so yeah, that is making the template class. It's so good. And we're done. We are done with templates. Because we made our template, and it's good. Let's move on, people. Let's not dally about. Because we got work to do. We got we to gotta scroll. This was the stuff that I was... That we got to scroll now. We got to do it. So how are we going to scroll? I'm going to put a bunch of bullshit on the screen right here. So we're going to... I got an idea for you guys. I got a whole system. I got a whole design pattern thing that we're going to do. It's going to be so good. Let me just get my colors here. Because I love colors. Okay, so we got... Uh, this is world's... Oh, oh, dog, I didn't... Oh, I didn't do it. Um, okay, so I got to... I hope nothing incriminating shows up when I when I do stuff here. Because then I'm going to... Scrap this whole video. 
Okay, nothing porn related has come up yet. I think we're safe. We can continue. All I gotta do is um define my screen area here. Stop that. Stop it. Stop it. Okay, it doesn't matter. We'll go up to there. It'll be fine. It'll be good. It'll be good. Suck it, Wacom and my screen capture bullshit. There we go. Mm. All right, now I can. Okay, now I got full range of motion here. Let's. Uh, okay, so what was I saying? What was I doing? We gotta do screen space. This is screen. Sp I missed a letter there. Screen space. This is viewport space, and this is. Oh, I fucked it up, dude. I I got it backwards. Mm. This is world. Space. This is view. Port space. And this is screen space. I must write the space out here. Just because. Mm. Getting off. Let me. Okay, so. Mm. Cameras and shit. This thing here, this little rectangle, that's the wrong one. This one, this red rectangle, we call this the camera. And it has a position in world space. And its position determines what shit in world space appears in the viewport. Okay, so you move your camera down. What happens to this uh, block? This is a tile map, by the way. And this is a block in the tile map. I'm moving the camera down. What's happening to this block in the viewport? Well, it appears as though the block is actually moving upwards. So first rule of cameras is cameras moving down equals shit moving up on the screen. Okay? So what you do is everything has a position in the world. That's like its position in the simulation of the world. Okay? Now that position is uh, different than its position on the screen, right? Let's say the camera's down here. So here, the thing's position in the world is maybe 50-50. But on the screen, it's like at like negative 200, negative 200, okay? So you have to go, if you want to draw shit, you got to transform its position from its world position onto its actual position on the screen, or in this case, in the viewport. How you do that is you take the coordinate of the camera so we'll say uh, uh, viewport x is equal to uh, object x minus camera x and likewise viewport y is equal to object y minus camera y because think about it, camera's moving down, um, dick, never mind, I'm just going to leave it. Camera moves down, shit moves up. So a bigger value of camera Y equals a smaller value of object in viewport. So we're obviously subtracting the camera's coordinate from the object's uh, world coordinate to give us our object viewport coordinate. So you do that, you get your... Uh, coordinates of your thing in your viewport. So what do you do then? Well, you got your thing. Let's just uh, let's move this down a little bit. So you've got your thing being drawn in viewport space, like like this, I guess. I don't know. Whatever. Now. <clears throat> You've got to uh, transform that. Let's just do this. This gets transformed into this. This one gets transformed into this. Now you got to transform that to its actual uh, uh, coordinates on the screen, on the actual screen, or on the window, or whatever it is. The physical thing that you're going to render the pixels to. Now a viewport is an interesting little thing. Uh, a viewport, you can have a viewport inside of your screen so you can have multiple viewports displaying different things at the same time uh, or just one viewport that's offset from the center of the screen I don't know let me show you pictures are worth billions of words right so here's a game 
thing, old game thing. And it has a viewport where the, the game is happening and then it has other shit and displays and crap like that, you can see. So, mm. you don't have to display to the entire screen. You can You can carve out a little piece for it and call that your viewport that you're going to render to. And that gives you more flexibility. Look at this. This is Shadowrun, right? It never rendered, I don't know why, but it never rendered to the edge of the screen. It always had this little box in the middle. Uh, this is kind of like off-center. I should have moved this window into here when I showed you, but I didn't. This is the thing I was talking about before. Okay. So, yeah, like Shadowrun here, it's got it's got this little weird box around the, the video, and it's it doesn't go all the way to the uh, the the borders of the screen. Which I always thought was kind of weird, but whatever. <clears throat> Maybe it's because like old televisions, they they never really displayed all the pixels. They had this weird bendy thing that, I don't know. You guys are probably too young to remember those televisions. Anyways. <clears throat> so viewports, they're kind of cool. They let you offset. So if you're drawing to a certain position uh, on your uh, viewport... You actually have to offset that by your viewport's top left coordinate in the screen space in order to get the place where you're going to draw it on the screen. So here, you're basically uh, subtract uh, camera XY. And here, you add viewport XY to get your final position on the screen here. And the other thing you want to do when you're drawing is you want to clip that bullshit to your viewport. You don't want to be drawing outside of the viewport. There's no point in having a viewport if you're not drawing within the viewport. So you want to add uh, your viewport XY to the position, and you want to clip clip to viewport rectangle. So that's how you do it. This is welcome to the slam and welcome to the jam. So we got uh, three kinds of space we're talking about. World space, viewport space, and screen space. You trans, uh, you translate or transform from world to viewport, and then from viewport to screen. Uh, obviously, if your viewport is the, the size of the screen, there's really no difference. Like, you don't really need a viewport then. You're just using the whole screen. But we're going to use the viewport... Uh, I don't know, concept here, because it'll give us more flexibility, and because I wanted to show you it, it's kind of cool, I had this idea, and I was like, this is cool, let's do this, let's do it, so we're going to use two objects, we're going to use a camera object, and the camera object represents your, uh, your camera in world space that will translate to uh, viewport space, and then we have a viewport object, which is going to represent your viewport as it sits in screen space, and it will translate uh, coordinates from viewport space into screen space and clip them to the viewport rectangle. This is how we do. Let's do. Um. Okay. So now I'm totally not going to pull up another window of Visual Studio that has all the code already written, basically to look at. Like kind of like a cheat sheet. I'm totally not going to do that. I totally didn't do that right now. Let's continue. Mm. So we need a new item. We're going to call it camera. Our camera obscura. Pragma wants... I guess you want a hashtag there. Hashtag pragma. Pragma wants... Uh, what do we want here? Include rect and other. Also, drink water. Pardon me. Ah, delicious. Okay. Where was I? Yeah, making stuff. Okay, camera class camera we're gonna want some uh, publics and some privates okay what do we want for public what do we want for private float x float y I think that's a yeah uh, that's a gimme 
Camera's gonna need an X and Y. Um, <clears throat> we're gonna need some functions. Now, here's the thing I didn't talk about, and that is we're doing this transformation. How are we gonna transform this bullshit? Well, how we're gonna do it is in present, uh, in our present situation, we've got a thing going. I'm just gonna undo all this bullshit. Wait a second, I gotta undo it all. Uh, undo faster. Go, go, go. So our present situation, let's see if I can talk while I'm doing this, is, um, damn, I can't, I can't do it without my fingers moving. Okay. We got, uh, for example, we have a, a tile, right? Tile object, call it T, and we call T dot draw, and we pass it uh, graphics, and then the body of t dot draw graphics uh, what it does is it calls put pixel to our graphics that we passed it put pixel into the graphics wow this is really illegible anyways uh, that's how we do it but that's not how we're gonna do it from now on now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go draw camera <clears throat> And we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna call draw, uh, draw filled, no, draw solid rectangle. And we're gonna call that on cam, which then calls that on viewport which then calls that on graphics. So we got a whole chain of command here. And every step there's going to be a transformation happening and finally at graphics all the work will be done. So we're relegating all the all the heavy lifting to graphics and no one else touches the put pixels. Everyone else just does high level calls like draw solid rect all the way. You'll see when we do it, but that's the basic idea. Same thing for surface. So a little bit of a little bit of a shake up there. It'll go, it'll go good, it'll go down nice, nice and smooth. <clears throat> so, we need a function draw solid uh, rect, draw solid rect, that's fine. Mm. Alright, now it's time for me to not look at my cheat sheet. Totally not. So, we need rect f which is the rectangle to be drawn and a d3d color that's the color and this will be uh, const because we're not changing the actual camera by doing this <clears throat> now what I want here we don't absolutely have to include this but yeah, I like to include it because I got the color here, <coughs> the D3D color. So why not? Next one, void, draw surface. All right, so what do we got for our uh, draw surface? Let me not consult my cheat sheet. So we do D3D color pointer to pixels. So we're just going to pass around that uh, pixel array and that's how we're going to do it. That's how we're going to do. Could do it other ways, but this is the way I chose to do it whenever I thought of stuff. Um, I probably thought a lot of this up while I was in feverish delirium. So just, just saying. Just saying that int height float x float y. Lots of parameters. There we go. So we got these two uh, these two draw functions that will be used in the camera viewport graphics drawing chain of command. What else? Well we're gonna need to be able to move the camera so let's get in here avoid set position float uh, new x 
float new y. Now here's the thing. Here's the little thing that I'm going to talk to you about now. It just so happens that... Ah. Uh, I hate all of you. I hate you all. There we go. Good. Okay. <clears throat> like I was saying, it just so happens that for the purposes of calculation, it's nice to have your uh, the position of your your X and Y position be based on the top left corner of your camera. For just the purposes of calculation, it's easier that way. It doesn't matter. But for the purposes of using the camera, the actual camera interface, it's nice to have uh, the camera seem like it's being sent, like it's based on the center of the camera. Because generally, when you point the camera at something, you point the center. You don't fa you don't focus on something by putting it in the very corner. Like that's dumb. You'll put it right in the middle. So <clears throat> here's how we're gonna do it. X and Y in our ver private variables here are going to refer to the top left corner of the camera, but, but, uh, the set position values that we use are actually going to set the center of the camera. So we're going to have to do a little transformation between center and top left. <clears throat> so from the uh, perspective of the user of the camera, the person who actually moves it around, it looks like the camera is... Uh, based on the center when actually in actuality it's based on top left corner but uh, I'm not gonna implement this right now because I need some other stuff that I haven't done yet so we got a good little skeleton for our camera let's move on <clears throat> add new item now we add our viewport viewport Mm, hashtag pragma, hashtag game changer. Once, uh, pound sign include. Yeah. Rect camera D three D. Lovely. Uh, class viewport again with the with the standard bull shizzle private okay so viewport is gonna have um, <clears throat> a rect I that defines the actual port in screen space um, it's also gonna have uh, what? It's also gonna have the basically the same bullshit we had before. Uh, let's go back to camera if we can. It's gonna have this. Let's go forward. Yeah, I did it. Uh, we're gonna have another draw solid rectangle and draw surface only in this one it's gonna be an integer for the solid because now we're in viewport slash screen space and viewport slash screen space is all about pixels which don't have anything to do with floats they don't care about floats so we use integers for when we hit viewport space slash screen space uh, so this is also gonna be an integer that's one of camera's jobs is to convert from ints into floats. I mean from floats into ints. Yeah, good job. And yeah, that's about it. Uh, I can't think of anything else at the moment. Uh, yeah, that's fine. That's fine for a start. We'll get back to you later. Now, <clears throat> copy this, and we're going to go into our framework, D3D graphics here, and, and we're going to add these functions. Not constant in graphics, not constant. Here, now it doesn't know what rect i is because we don't have... 
rect, so we'll put rect in. And yeah, that is good, not good enough. Now, we're going to need one extra parameter for when we uh, actually draw it, and that is a rect i clipping box. We're going to need a box to clip to, and that is provided by the uh, the viewport. So rect i clipping. Ugh, I messed that up. Clipping box. Now this is actually. We don't have to change this. We shouldn't change it. We shouldn't touch it. Don't touch it. So we'll just make that a constant reference. And that way we don't have to pass it by value. We don't have to copy so many variables. <clears throat> it's all good. Okay, so now we have our basic skeleton set up in our chain of command. Let's go back to camera and flesh things out. So camera has to pass on to viewport. So it needs a reference to viewport. So we go uh, constant okay I did this wrong viewport where is it where's viewport does not include camera it doesn't care about camera it doesn't know about camera camera is the master of the viewport so camera knows about the viewport because it has to have a reference viewport port all right ah one thing that I wanted to add to viewport but I didn't is we need a couple of simple uh, data functions here get width fuck you and width is going to be we're going to make it as a float because the thing that's going to want to get the width is the camera and the camera likes floats. So this is return float port dot right minus port port dot left float get height const return float port dot bottom minus port dot top there <clears throat> so this will give us our height and width of our viewport whenever we desire it there we go now we go back to the camera so let's do our set position bullshit here we set position by x equal to new x, but then we have to convert that into uh, from center of screen to top left position. And how we do that is we subtract half the width and half the height. So we go port dot get width divided by 2.0f. And y is equal to ny minus port dot get height divided by 2.0. And there you go. There's our position all set up for now. Foreshadowing. Um, let's do our uh, drawing functions, shall we? <clears throat> so, draw solid rectangle. All we got to do here is we go rect dot translate now here's the trick we gotta translate negative x and negative y because we're remember moving the camera down moves shit up on the screen it's the opposite so you've got to translate in the opposite uh, direction as the uh, position of the camera so that's why we use negative x and negative y it's tricky but I know you can handle it and then we go port dot draw solid rectangle and we pass our rect, which will get automatically converted from rect f into rect i for us. And we pass our color. Okay. That was super simple. Wait, wait, I got it, I got it, I got this one. That was easy. Ha ha ha. 
I got that from Christmas. My mom loves corporate humor. Um. Okay, so now we do port dot draw surface pixels width height, and here we gotta translate our x and y. So we go int x minus this pointer to x and int y minus this pointer to y uh, pointer to, uh, yes thank you you're too kind and I think that's not good enough apparently ah this would be a problem how would you like me now still not good enough um am I missing something Ah, it probably wants the key. Key. How do you like me now? Okay, good. <clears throat> so there we go. Simple. We do the translation and we uh, pass the buck onto our viewport. Last but not least is we actually need to make the camera. So let's do that bullshit. Const viewport ampersand port const no. That's all we need. We just need a viewport. For now. Um, so we go port, port. And let's be cool about it. Let's, uh, we'll just set position, I don't know, zero, zero. Doesn't matter. So we'll center our camera on the top left corner of the world. It's better than just having it in any, any random position, right? So there's our camera constructor, our two uh, rendering functions that we need, and our set position function, and we are all set for camera. Let's move on to our viewport. Okay, so we got our width and height thing already set up. We're going to need in here... Uh, D3D graphics. I need a uh, reference to the graphics. <coughs> now let's do our do our shenanigans here. So we go rect dot translate, and we use the top left corner of our port as the uh, the amount to translate by. So we go port dot left port dot top translate by that much right you're following me right because you gotta translate by this much and this much to go from uh, just normal viewport space into screen space capiche alright and then we go graphics dot draw draw solid rect error okay we'll ignore that thing that says error because that's probably fine color and uh, then we need to send the, the clipping box which is just our port that is the clipping box okay continuing on mm, how do we do this same way pretty much uh, let's let's be sneaky about this one we're gonna go back here copy this go back here paste it delete that thing draw surface okay so we wanna subtract from X uh, port dot left and by subtract I mean add of course and we don't need to do this uh, conversion to int bullshit because it's already ints it's all ints we're all ints here we're all ints no need to no need to get all those conversion things out uh, port dot top and we need the port itself to clip to why don't you like it? 
Ah, because it's not port, it is graphics. And now we have, now the circle is complete. Almost. We'll go view port. We've got to initialize this mother trucker. The motherfucker. Uh, let's let's not. I'm totally not looking at my cheat sheet, which I don't have open right now. Uh, graphics. D three D graphics. And we need constant rect i port. We need actual rectangle to initialize our port with and we go graphics graphics port port and that is all constructor over all right so there we go <clears throat> that is our viewport completed now comes the fun part why don't you like my recti I know why you don't like it. It's because you're racist. Wait, it, okay, it's fine now. Never mind. We're cool. So now we gotta actually, yeah. Gotta. Ah, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Declaration. Definition. We gotta define these functions. So we'll put them somewhere likely. Right after port pixel. Yeah. I don't know. I'll put it right here. Put it there. Okay, so let's do D three D graphics. Get our scope thing in there, whatever you want to call it. I forget what it's called. Whatever. Um now we gotta draw this. So here unto hither the rectangle has been drawn from the tile class, right? With, uh, where is it? Where's the draw? Where did you put my draw? I'm not, what did I do? Tile? Yeah, here we go. Draw. Okay, it's over here. Uh, tile. Yeah, here we go. So we got to use this thing somehow. Let's go back, back, back. We got to use this. But we also have to clip to the clipping box. And we've got to draw this rectangle. So we need to change some things up. First of all, how to clip to the clipping box. Well, clipping is actually a pretty common operation. So let's be smart and put it in the rectangle class to be used by all for from here until eternity. Which is a really long time, I hear. Uh, so we go void clip to, and we'll just do a rect, I guess. Constant rect rect. Now clipping to something is very simple. We'll use maximum and minimum. Uh, we do top is equal to uh, maximum of top and rect.top right I'll just I'll explain this one case for you let's say we're clipping um duh. let's say we're clipping this rectangle to this rectangle here. So they both have a top, right? And we're clipping this one to this one. So obviously this one is going outside of the top, so you want to take the one at the bottom. Whereas if it was going down here, it would be within the viewport, so we would take this one. So you always want to take the one that's lower, and the one that is lower is the one that has the highest value. So you take the maximum of the clipping rectangle and the, the rectangle to be clipped. Whichever one is bigger, that's the one you choose. That's how you clip. Uh, bottom is equal to the minimum of bottom and rect dot bottom. I think you see a, uh, a trend 
manifesting itself here, so I'm not going to explain them all on a picture. Left, rect dot left, and right is equal to min right rect dot right. So this function, if I am not mistaken, will allow us to clip a rectangle by another rectangle of the same type. I don't know if it'll allow different types. It might, but whatever. I'm only guaranteeing same types, and I only recommend same types. So there we go. Now we have, our, we have a nice little clipping function that will clip one rectangle to another rectangle. Let's go back to the future. Here we go. So now we want to clip. So we go rect dot clip to clipping box and now we've got to use this rect to draw our rectangle so we go uh, rect dot top and as long as it is less than rect dot bottom we increment rect dot left and as long as it is less than rect dot right increment and of course we don't need to use graphics because we are graphics. We're the motherfucking graphics, bitch. So that's that. And that is draw solid rectangle done. Clipped and served, my friend. Now, let us proceed on our merry little way to our draw surface function. And now draw surface is, of course, currently implemented in surface maybe this one yeah it's in the header file so we want this bullshit we want you asshole um that was that was uncalled for i apologize okay so we want to shift tab that mother okay so now we got to somehow get this shit clipped and served as well. So clipping requires rectangles but we only have width, height, x and y. So we need to create our rectangle. We'll just call it rect because I'm original like that and I believe it is top, bottom, left, right. So y, y plus height x, x plus width for top, bottom, left, right. There, there is our rectangle. Now we want to clip this mother, so we go rect.clip2 clipping rectangle. Okay, so now we have our, our uh, clipped rectangle, which is the destination rectangle on the screen. That is important to keep in mind. It is a destination rectangle. Why? Ah, because I called it clipping box here. Sorry. I didn't call it rectangle. I called it box. Okay, well now, what do you want from me? Huh? It's a fucking... What? Clipping rect is undefined. Clipping... Okay, now something, is we something weird is happening. I feel like time is slipping sideways. I'm going to build this. See if it goes away. It's not going away, is it? Well, you go to hell. And also... Okay, now it went away. Good. So my IntelliSense is just fucking slow as balls. Continuing on. Okay, so we got... This gives us our, our destination rectangle. Which is different than the rectangle we're going to use to... Uh, draw from the surface, right, from the pixels. So we got to think here. We got to put on our thinking caps. Y start, X start. So X start and Y start. These are the start positions in the actual surface. And we will get those positions See, we got this rectangle originally by adding height, adding uh, y and x to width and height to get our rectangle right. 
So if we subtract y and x, we will get our, our source rectangle back, sort of. Let's do that. So rect dot top minus y and rect dot uh, left minus x. See, think about it. Let's think about it for a second here. Let's not get crazy. Let's think like civilized people sometimes do. Not very often to be true. To tell you the, the I don't know, the bold, the bald truth, the naked truth. People don't think. Take it from me. Okay, so you've got a rectangle for your surface. No, that's not good. Um, you've got mail. No, you've got a surface. Fuck. I don't like it when it's all fucking, you know, crooked and shit. Because I'm a perfectionist. Okay, so you got your fucking thing. You got your bullshit. Yeah, it's fine. Um, then you've got more bullshit on top of that bullshit. Bear with me here. I'm getting to a good explanation here. I'm explaining things because people like it when I explain shit. They're like, Chili, you always explain shit, and that's cool. So I say, hey, I'm going to keep explaining shit. So you've got... <clears throat> your, I don't know, your pixels in memory, right? So they have a position of 0, 0 here, and let's say it's, I don't know, 50 wide and 100 tall. So this would be not 50, it would be 49 and 99. Okay, that's your fucking sprite in your memory, in your surface. Now here is... Your logical, fuck that, fuck that all. Here is your logic, no, oh, no, no, you are doing so good, and then, and then you had to fuck it up. Then you had to fuck it up. What the fuck are you doing? Okay, um, <laughs> let's pretend that there are numbers here, but they aren't. Wait, now they are. 99, 49, okay. Okay, now, let's hope I didn't fuck anything up with the layers. Good. Okay, so, you've got your surface. You've got your fucking dude. This is like an... This is your logical rectangle of this surface in world space. Then you move... Then you move your screen, your, your camera, so that part of your dude is in world space. In, in your viewport space. Then you're going to clip your dude here to this rectangle here. All right. Are you with me? So this rectangle is going to be like uh, 0, 0. And we clipped it, so it's probably going to be like, let's say, I don't know, like 29 and 79. Okay. Okay. So it's smaller than this rectangle. Now if you just use this rectangle to loop through your surface, what you'd get is you'd get uh, the top left hand corner of your sprite. Like let's say your sprite looks like this dude. Looks like this. That's your dude. You'd get this. You'd get like, like him drawn like kind of like that on the screen. But you don't want that. What you actually want is you want something like uh, something like this, where he's actually drawn like this, right? Because he's partly off the screen. So in order to get that, you've got to recreate the part of this that you want to loop through from your your rectangle, your clipped rectangle. And how you do that is you add. Uh, you add, you subtract, you subtract your x and your y, because the x and y are currently negative, right? x and y in screen space, or in viewport space, are negative numbers. So you subtract them from this, and what you end up with is a rectangle that is like, um, 
oh, now I gotta do math. What's funny? It's like uh, it's like twenty nine forty nine and uh seventy nine ninety nine. So it's like no, no, it wasn't twenty nine, it was just twenty. Yeah, I did it. I did it. I did grade school mathematics. Uh, 20 and 49 and 20 and uh, 99, which is what you want. You want this rectangle here. You want to loop through this to draw it on here. So in order to go from this, which is this, to this, you need to add, I mean subtract this, which is negative. So when you subtract it, you end up adding it. Yeah. Did that make it way clearer? Because it probably didn't. I think I think it actually made me understand it less just by explaining it to you. No, this is not fucked up. But anyways, that's why you gotta subtract y and x. So, if you don't understand it, then just kind of like play around with it for yourself. Like draw pictures and stuff, and don't draw pictures of dick butt because that won't help. I mean, it would like it would be fun, but it wouldn't it wouldn't uh, facilitate your comprehension of this uh, phenomenon. Yes. Okay, so now y end is also going to be, what is it going to be? Oh, it's going to be rectangle. Wait, I'm going to check my cheat sheet because I'm not sure. But I think it's going to be like rectangle minus again. Let me make sure because I want to fuck it up and then, you know, like screw you guys over. I mean, I don't really care that much about screwing you guys over, but just a little bit. I do. Okay, yeah, I was right. I was right. Heh. <laughs> okay, so we do uh, rectangle dot bottom minus y and rectangle dot right minus x. Okay, so there we go. And this gives us our start and our end, which allows us to use this loop without fucking around with it anymore. Now that we have, um, Uh, transformed uh, our destination rectangle into our source rectangle we have to transform it back to a destination pixel when we draw it so to do that we go uh, X oh fuck okay so we got X and Y here and then we got X and Y here that's not good it's not good let's go I Y I Y I Y I X I X ix and we go ix which is index of x into the surface plus x which is the x position in screen space of the top left corner of the destination rectangle of the original unclipped destination rectangle yeah I, s I made it to the end of that sentence I'm not sure if it made sense at the end but I made it there that's what counts Surface is now pixels because of reasons. Oh, wait. Yeah. So this has got to be IX and IY. Good thing I caught that because I almost didn't. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think we're uh, I think we're good. Sort of. I have no faith in this actually. It's probably going to look like ass when it comes out. Why is book pixel not happening? Oh, okay, I got it. <laughs> yeah. There we go. We are the graphics. We have the put pixel. We have the technology. Let's do it. Okay. So. Um. So that's our whole thing built. I mean, that's our whole chain of command implemented. Let's see if it builds without actually putting it into the program. Why is this? Why did the output get so big? Stop it. Failed. I knew it was going to fail. Spoiler alert. I know everything. Uh, where is it? Syntax error identifier D3D graphics. Yeah. Okay, so here's a problem. Here's a problem. Uh, <clears throat> Rect includes D3D graphics. And D3D graphics includes... Rect, which as we know is kind of a pain in the ass situation. Now we normally handle that kind of situation by uh, taking the thing that needs D3D graphics, which is draw, 
and basically moving it into its own implementation file, moving it into a CPP file. Then we don't have to include DCD graphics here. We just do a for declaration here, and then we do the formal implementation in the CPP file. However, we can't do that in this situation because you can't split templates into a header file and a CPP file. It doesn't work. It's not good. It, I mean, it's not even not good. It's just not a thing you do ever. So, um, the way we handle this situation is by saying, fuck draw, we don't need it. Fuck it. There we go, problem solved. <laughs> yeah. Okay, because the thing is, mm, fucking snot. Okay, succeeded. That was good. The thing is, right, mm, like, our rectangle is basically thinking of itself as a client of uh, graphics. But graphics uses rectangle as a fundamental type. So it's like, Wait, what's which came first, the chicken or the egg? So the way to do that is say, no, no, gra rectangle is not a client of graphics. Rectangle is below graphics. Rectangle is graphics's bitch, is what we're trying to say here. So if we want to draw rectangles, we put a function into graphics saying draw rectangle, and we pass a rectangle as a parameter. That's how we're going to solve this problem. There are other ways of solving it, but I like this way because it's super simple. But for the time being, we don't even need to draw rectangles, so I'm just going to delete that motherfucker. Now, we built our thing. It works exactly the same as before because nothing has changed. We haven't actually put it into the whole pipeline. We've just kind of built the, f the foundations. So the infrastructure, if you will. So now we've got to put it into the thing and make it ring. Why did I even rhyme that? That was stupid. I'm not going to edit that out either. I'm leaving that in. You can face palm if you'd like. Uh, so now, <clears throat> we've got like a whole situation here of drawing stuff with graphics. And we got to change that into drawing stuff with camera. So we go, here we have graphics. We replace that with camera. And D3D graphics? No. Camera. Cam. And then we go to tile. Not CPP. And we go cam. And we go cam dot draw solid rectangle uh rect f yeah about that how do we get the rectangle again Buh. uh this what do we got we have height width x and y okay so and i bet there are ints too so let's go float top is y float y plus height float x float suck it x plus width oh we need more stuff we need a color do we have color apparently we do and is that it am I done can I go now no. No suitable constructor consists conser convert from f uh, bleh bleh. Okay, I got this one. Rect F How are we now? Okay, we're good. We create a rectangle, we float rectangle, we put the stuff in it, and we pass it to the camera. Okay, so that's tile handled. Now is the fun part. We go to sprite. Sprite.draw. Where are you? Go to definition. Okay. So draw current sequence. 
draw. And we're going to pass it x, y direction and camera. Camera. Cam. Let's go back. This one should be camera. Include camera. There we go. <coughs> go forward. Now we got it. Oh, damn. Mm. Now we go to by surface sequence draw and we replace this one with camera. Wait, first we got to go here. And we place graphics with camera and cam. And we replace this one with cam. Hmm. Surface sequence. Okay. So now we've got to visit our friend surface sequence. Where are you? And camera. Where's draw? Where's my draw? Camera. Camera. I might have been able to get rid of this with like a D3D graphics, but I didn't want to didn't want to do find and replace because I know it's just gonna replace a bunch of bullshit that I don't want to replace and cause me headaches. So I'll just replace it the old fashioned way. Cam what? Oh okay, you don't like it because it's not I gotcha, I gotcha. Let's go to surface. Let's fix it. We will fix the boo boo. We will make it all better. Let mommy kiss it better. Okay. Uh, draw a normal surface. Mm. Whatever. Wait. Ooh, that's no good. Uh. Hmm. That's a problem because we only have uh, in camera we only have implemented uh, the one the keyed keyed surface drawing. We don't have implemented unkeyed. So well, whatever. We don't use this anyways. It's just a thing that I made to demonstrate a concept. Uh, but just in case we're going to do cam dot ah, suck it d3d graphics yeah we need to include that we also need to include camera mm, good interesting okay uh camera 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 drot did I say drot I meant to say dot uh, draw Surface, perfect, surface. Now the key is going to be um, D3D color uh, XRGB. And the red is 255, the green is zero. I'll make that ugly color that I hate. I think it's called Chartreuse? No, I don't know what it's called actually. I forget. I forget the name. Uh, width, height, x off, y off. And yeah, that works. Okay, so basically just going to default to this color being the key. And if that color happens to be in your image, well, then you're fucked. You're going to have a fucking weird thing. Uh... You're probably fucked if you fuck it. If you use this function, so don't fucker. There we go. Mm, it's not important because we don't use it in this thing, but just 
just to be sure someone's going to use it someday and they're going to be pissed off. Okay, so keyed servers. Here's where the money shot is. And the good thing is, because we've already typed it out here, we can just do this one. And we do kick in, we do camera. Cam. Cam dot draw surface. And this one is the key. Key. There we go. So that is this one done. Surface is done. Surface sequence is done. By. By surface sequence is done. Done now. Uh, next in the line was, uh, I guess, Sprite. Sprite, which is which was done already, right? I did that one. I did it. So they're all done now. Um, now, all we have to do is what? What do we have to do? What does Chili have to do? Uh, Chili has to add cameras and stuff to the game. So we go to game.h. Mm. And we add a, well, include camera. And we add camera, cam, and we add a view, port, port. But not in that order. Viewport needs to be created before camera because camera, yeah. First we need to create graphics, then viewport, then camera. Because that is the, the opposite of the chain of command. Most important gets created last. Yeah. Um, now we go to game. And we go make the viewport. So we go port. And I believe that's just created with what? With okay, so we need graphics, and we need a rect i for the thing. Now comes the. I'm not sure exactly how to make the port. Uh, I think it should be zero. Uh, wait, what was it again? 800 by 600, so 599, 0, 799, but I'm not sure. Not sure about the logic of this one, so we'll have to see. And we make camera off of port. Good. And now we use the camera to draw everything. Why is, ah, because tile map, <coughs> okay, I forgot one. <clears throat> let's go to tile map. Draw. Let's go. Yeah, I'll put it in. Include camera. Don't really need to. It's in tile already. Camera. Cam. And then we go to tilemap.cpp. Don't you like all this refactoring? I know I don't. But it has to be done. Cam. And we do... Oh, we don't want to get rid of this. This is good. We just want to put cam in here. Yeah. So we draw all the tiles. Even the ones not on the screen. Here. Um... Bill... No. Go back. Go back to game. Game. There we go. Now it doesn't like graphics. It wants cameras. And we will give it cameras. We'll give it what it wants. The insatiable, the insatiable tile map and player. Um, okay. So I think this will build. Now whether it will crash or not is another question. 
I'm going to say it might not crash, but it's probably going to be fucked up. Didn't even build, so I was wrong. Even before I got started. Okay, where's the errors? Let me show. Where is the errors and all these freaking warnings? That's a warning. There we go. Syntax error. Identify. Oh, okay, this thing. This was the thing that I was expecting. Wait, no. I fixed that. Syntax error. Identify a rect. I... Missing types. Okay, good. Okay, yeah. So the thing is, I got rid of... Um, Where's rect? Where's my rect? I got rid of the draw, which needs this, but I didn't get rid of this thing here. Which I should have got rid of. That's the whole point of getting rid of that uh, draw function. But I didn't do it. I didn't do it. <clears throat> okay, so now this should maybe work. And by work, I mean compile. I don't mean that it's going to like look good or anything. Ah, uh -uh. actually, it looks exactly the way it should. You might be saying, this is stupid. But, remember, we set our... Uh, okay, we got a gray pixel here, so that looks like my viewport is set up not correctly. But, this is the way it should be, because they've set the camera to 0, 0, and it's pointing right at 0, 0 in world space right at the top left corner of the tile map and it's not gonna go anywhere because it's not tracking our character so if we wanna do it then we gotta do it words to live by if you go if you wanna do it then you gotta do it you can quote me on that I don't mind uh... what was I thinking okay so first of all it looks like the viewport has to be set up to be 600 by 800. Now this should give us proper viewportage. Yeah, okay, now... Wait. Now I can't even tell. What was it like before? Because I can't tell if there's a gray pixel in between or if that's just my eyes playing tricks on me. It looks like it's fine now. What if I were to it's the seven ninety nine? All right, no, there's definitely a th something in the middle now. Okay, so yeah, it's got to be eight hundred. So that's thing number one taken care of. This is how you have to define your uh, your viewport. Yeah, that's definitely better. I am gonna say that this is the way it has to be. Yeah, that looks right. Okay, so, <clears throat> number one thing taken care of, viewport, maybe. We'll see. It might need to be some more fixing. Number two thing is we got to make the camera follow the character. Now, to do that, we need to get the X and the Y position of the sprite, but the sprite is not showing us its goodies. It's keeping them all to itself. So, we'd have to create a get X, get Y. Or do we? The answer is we don't. Fuck that. I'm not giving you anything that I don't have to. We're going to do something called, <clears throat> uh, we're going to chillify this. That's a technical term. Uh, we're going to do uh, point camera at. Or wait. What did I call it before? Let's, let's use the thing I called it before. Where's my sprite? Uh, move camera two. Yeah, whatever. That seems fine. Move camera two. And then we cast pass it a camera. <clears throat> How do you like them apples? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Actually. Constant. Nah, I don't want to fuck around with that. I could make all these draws constant now that I think about it. Constant camera. But it's too late. That ship has sailed. I'm not going to go through all that bullshit and change it now. Fuck that. Fuck that right in the ass. Okay, so moving a camera to something, we just do cam dot set position uh, core dot x core dot y <clears throat> minus 100 F. 
minus 80. Because remember, the x and y of our sprite is actually the feet. And we don't want to point to the feet of the sprite. I want to point to its head-ish area. So I'll move it up, like move the camera up by 80. Alright, so that's good. And now we go to game. Where's game? There. So we do uh, collision. We do other stuff. And the last thing we do is we go player dot move camera to me. And that should be good enough build. All right, let's try this. Okay. So I kind of fucked it up a little bit somehow. Uh, I fucked up like the keying of this thing. It's not drawing exactly how I want it to, obviously. Tiles work fine. And as you can see, the camera works fine. But I fucked up the, uh, the surface drawing somehow. How did I manage that? I'm gonna have to look into that. I think I know how I did it. I probably used the wrong surface. I used the non-keyed one in the algorithm. That's how I fucked it up. Mm, good, good on me. Good on Chili. But everything else looks really good. So let's fix that one little problem. Teensy, 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 weensy little problem. That is really stupid bad. So we go to our old friend, Mr. Graphics, mm. we go draw a surface, and we go if so we go uh, D three D color. Uh, source pixel is equal to this one if source pixel is equal to key is not equal to key do this Yes, I'm putting in the brackets here. I know you don't have to, but I want to. Fuck off. Um, yeah, that should do it. Oh, wait, I got to put source pixel in here. Otherwise, it, it makes no sense for me to actually use it. This is kind of an optimization, which is not super optimized because caching will make the second access fast anyways. But whatever. I am doing it. <sighs> yeah, I probably shouldn't do it this way. I should, now I'm doing it this way. I have made up my mind. It may not be optimal, but gosh darn it, it's the way I've decided. You probably don't even understand what I'm rambling about. Okay, good, it works now. That's all that matters, really, isn't it? Shit working is what we are all about. Yeah. Okay, this looks good. Mmm! <clears throat> It's so good, I want to rub it all over my body. So now we've got a dude who can like, you know, scroll. The, stuff, the camera can scroll to the dude. So you know what we could do with this? We could make a way bigger map now because think about it. Like, I mean, we're not constrained by the size of the screen now. We are unconstrained. Our limiter has been unleashed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to alt select a bunch of bullshit here. <clears throat> I'm going to get rid of this. Actually, I'm going to get rid of all of this. Alt select this. Delete. Alt select this. Copy. Okay, that didn't work. Uh, undo. Wait, what happened? Oh, I made the size, font size smaller, bigger. How was it? I think it was this size. 
Okay, Alt, Select, Copy. Uh, how do I paste it sideways? There we go, that worked. Okay, good. Now, <clears throat> Normal Select, uh, Paste that. There we go. Oh, isn't that beautiful? That's so delicious. Why did I get rid of all of those fucking shit? Shit, 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 shit. Now I've got to do it all over again. My god. The tedium. Oh, I did it wrong. Okay, let's do it again. Carefully now. Carefully. Carefully. Careful. Don't fuck it up. There we go. Okay, and then we do... Wait, this isn't the last one. Is There's more. Of course there's more. There's always more. Then we do that. Nope. It's wrong. Uh, we do that. There we go. Okay, so now we have a quadruple-sized map. Um, let's... Uh, I don't know. Let's do this. Yeah. Actually, let's just do this. Alt. No, wait. I'm going to select double here. Copy that. Then I'm going to select this one. Paste it. Oh, magic. It's magic. Um. What else do I want to do? Well, I guess we could get rid of this. Copy that. I'm just fucking around now. I'm wasting all your times. That's okay. I've earned it. I have been super concise in my explanations. I know because I've done this already once before and it was way longer. Mm. I was already at like two hours before I got to this point. Okay. Oh, yeah. And we'll just do this. Copy that. Put it there. Uh, oh, I totally want to make like a staircase. I'm going to make a staircase here. All right. So I got to do... Wait. I know how to do it. I'm just copy. Ctrl-C. Now I got to paste. Paste. Wait, no, no. No. Paste. 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 Okay, I think that's good. Now I got to make, like, these two into spaces. Maybe this one too. Yeah. Yeah, that's the ticket. <coughs> make one more. Just to be safe. I don't know how much headroom this guy needs. Um... Copy that. No, wait, that would be a bad idea. That would not be the good touch. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, done. Level has been completed. The ultimate level of stick man running. Okay. Oh, oh. Wait a minute, this shit doesn't line up. That's bad. Let's do that. Okay. Save the day. Save the map. <clears throat> okay, now, now we've got problems here. Kind of. Test map string.cpp. We'll go test map string.h. So it was uh, map width divided by tile size. Now it's going to be map width is 800 times 2, because I doubled it. Divided by tile size. Good. Now, mm, that should just load by itself. I shouldn't have to change anything else. Let's see if it did it. Oh, yeah, son. Look at it. Well, we got levels going, man. This is a fucking level if I ever seen one. Ah, fucker. Fuck off. Fuck you. <coughs> Fuck you, bitch. 
Oh, I can't jump. I can't jump or shit. Do it. Okay, dude. Do it. Oh, you dick. Ah, oh, that was a dick move. I didn't make the jump. Oh, I didn't make that jump either. Okay. We're gonna we gotta go up the stairway, man. This is the that's the whole point of this. So we gotta get up that that goddamn stairway. Give me that fucking stairs. Oh yeah. Oh suck it, son. Wait, I can't get up. Yeah, let me up. Let me up the stairs. Fuckers. Yeah, I did it. Hey, like me now. Alright. None of that bullshit. So that is the camera and the other dumb shit done. Let's uh let's think here. What do I wanna do next? Well here's one thing I might want not wanna do. Let me tell you this. The camera right now is going outside of the uh the space of the tile map. And it can do this because we're actually rendering the entire tile map every frame and just clipping out the parts that we don't need. But if you had a really huge tile map, like let's say a thousand by a thousand tiles, that's a million tiles altogether. But it, you know, it's not inconceivable. You could make a tile map that big with today's hardware and memory sizes. But if you had a tile map that huge, drawing every tile, even though you'd only actually draw the ones on the screen, just going through the routines and clipping out all the ones you're not drawing would take a super huge amount of time and it would be super dumb to do it that way. So what we do, generally, as civilized human beings who are wise in the ways of the C++, if I can just, ah, fuck it, I'm not going to undo it, I'm just going to move this one. What we do is we do the same thing we did when we were uh, doing the collision test. Remember the collision test? Do you remember the last two episodes? We didn't test against every single tile. We only tested, we took the collision uh, rectangle of the, the sprite and we used that as the start and end points to loop through, uh, to loop through only a subset of the tiles. And we used those, that subset, and we, we uh, did our collision test against only those tiles. Now we can do the same thing with our camera and with the, uh, with the, uh, worlds, uh, not the world space, with the tile map. Uh, we can only draw the tiles which will appear in the camera and say, fuck you, shit lords, to the rest of these tiles. Because they don't matter. But in order, the problem is, if we do that kind of, not drawing all tiles, just drawing tiles in the camera, what happens if we move the camera outside of the tile map range? Then we're going to go and try to find these tiles here, Except we're going to go down here and be like trying to find these tiles, but the index will go outside of the array holding all the tiles and our uh, program is going to puke. So in a situation like that, it is imperative that we, uh, we constrain the camera to within the boundaries of our tile map. So, and sometimes you, even if you don't need to, you want to do that just because it looks cool. So we're going to do that. We're going to constrain our camera into the boundaries of the tile map. <clears throat> that is mission number two. And it's quite simple. All we got to do is go to camera. And uh, <clears throat> what we got to do here is, first of all, we're going to need a constant rect f boundaries. So this rectangle will uh, show us the boundaries of our entire tile map. Where where can our uh, tile, no, where can our camera exist in? And what we do here is we constrain our camera to the tile map. Boundaries, yes. My brain is starting to shut down. Getting to that point here. Hundred one minute forty four. Wait, one hour forty four minutes. Yep, it's about brain shutdown time. Let's get let's wrap this up before my brain melts out of my ears and pools onto the floor. Uh, so what we want to do is after we've uh, after we've set our x and y, we then want to make sure it's within our boundaries. So we go x is equal to uh 
the maximum of x and boundaries dot left. So we want x to be Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if x, so let's say this bound the boundary is our world space here. We want x to be, we're going to set our x position to be the bigger of this or this. So if it's bigger than here, we leave it as it is. But if it's smaller, we move x over to here. Good. I think that's good. And y is equal to the maximum of y and boundaries dot top. Now here's where it gets a little trickier, not too much, but x is equal to the minimum of x and boundaries dot right minus uh, port dot get wait port dot get width we have to subtract the width from the port because the boundary for x remember x is our top left corner so we have to constrain x to here which is this minus the width and so that's why we have to do that subtraction Copish, copish. Okay. And then we do y is equal to the minimum of y and boundaries dot bottom minus port dot get height. Yes. And there we go. We have constrained to our boundaries. Now we have boundaries, so we need to set them. So we go const rect f ampers ampersand boundaries. And we go boundaries, boundaries. There we go. And uh, yeah, I'll leave set position where it is. If we do it this way, though, it's going to, after set, setting at zero, zero, it's going to quickly uh, zoom to within the acceptable boundaries. But you get the point. Um, yeah, I think that's good. Now we need to set the boundaries. Now what are the boundaries? Well the boundaries are determined by the tile map. So we can go to tile map and we create a function. We're going to call it uh, rect f yeah okay so we got a rect f get boundaries and what are the boundaries? Well return rect f so the boundaries are going to be 0, 0.0 because our tile maps are the left and top are set to 0 so top is 0 bottom is going to be um, height times that's the, that's the height as in the number of tiles times ah, yeah I don't think I can get height and width of these guys because I made it that's not good so it looks like I'm gonna have to expose this after all set width and height yep I'm gonna have to expose it Okay, it's time for a little, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Static, wait, int. I don't know if const even makes a difference. Make it const, I don't know. It might make a difference. Return width. How's that? Doesn't like it.
We're gonna have to get uh, expositional here. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Expositionist. Er. Yes. Okay, const doesn't work with static, so fuck it. All right, so set again. Get width. Get height. Well, I tried to keep it private. I tried to keep you safe, but the gods would not let me. Unless I I can do some other bullshit. To, but fuck it. Fuck the bullshit. I'm just gonna say expose that bullshit. So get height and 0, 0.0 f and width times tile there we go how is that looks good to me yeah okay I'm fine with that I am fine with the bullshit I found I just thought of a a decent way of getting around exposing these ones but nah you know what my insanity can only go so far so yeah now we got a function to get the boundaries now we go to our game where's that game there it is and we go here camera it's gonna want something else so we go uh, t dot get boundaries and that should allow us to set the boundaries for a camera there we go and now if you look our camera does not go off into space it uh, it stays uh, at its maximum point there it stops at the uh, wall and lets us run to the end there so that's nice that is nice that's good shit so that's very simple camera behavior for you just keep the character at the center until you hit the boundaries of the world and then stop at them decent and uh, workable very workable ah these stairs will be the death of me yeah there we go okay so that's that and I mean there's of course there's like way crazier ways of handling the camera like look at uh, look at Shadowrun here Let's see if I can get to a place where we're in the corporation yeah something like that like the camera's kinda lazy you can see the character moves and then wait why am I weren't oh, whatever Characters like moving around like this. The camera's kind of following. If I could just stop for a second, ugh, this is a bad part portion of the video to choose. Stop it! There we go. Why won't you stop? I'm trying to illustrate a thing here, and you fucking. Ugh. The camera here is kind—it's of, kind of like a lazy camera in in that. It doesn't just automatically zoom to the point where it's going. It kind of just, it kind of scrolls there. But it's hard to illustrate that point until... <sighs> I hate you. I hate you, video. You were not a good instructional tool. Uh, there's got to be like a, a thing here. Yeah, see, look at that. You see that right there? That's the thing I was trying to talk about. See, look at... It goes, she stopped, but the camera keeps moving even after she stops. Kind of like zooming. It's a, it's kind of a lazy camera. I'm going to call it the lazy cam. So that's another way of doing camera that's a little more complicated. There's lots of ways you can do it. and You can make scripts for like when you have uh, events and stuff like that. The camera can pan around. But this is the very simple thing. And, it, you know, I mean, it looks good. I think it looks pretty good. It's a very simple, uh, smooth. It, it behaves the way you would expect the camera to behave. It's all. It's basically all you need. If you want to get fancier, you can do it. But you know, this is the sim. This is simple and it works fine. So that's enough of my rambling about that. One more thing, we created this uh, nice little port here. Uh, why don't we try to use it? Why don't we just? Uh, we're gonna constrain our thing to two hundred. 
200 and this one will be uh, let's see here 200 to 600 is 400 so this one will do 200 to 500 that's a nice 4 by 3 ratio right wait but the 4 and 3 are backwards shit this one should be 500 this one should be 600 so we're going to get a nice 4 by 3 ratio on our camera here see now, now we have a really small viewport now it kind of looks like ass because the background and the non viewport space has the same color so it looks weird like here you don't know if it's just like you could jump like off the edge of this dick or if there's an actual wall up here you can't really tell so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little we're gonna put some rectangles around our viewport except we can't draw rectangles because we don't have uh, the technology to draw rectangles so we're gonna go into uh, where is it d3d graphics here it's a little bonus think of this as a little bonus here Chili is showing you how you can use your viewport for fun and profit. View void draw rect rect i rect um this one is not going to be clipped because it's just too much work and besides we're going to be using this in screen space so just to put a frame around our uh, our viewport so fuck it d3d wait uh, int r int g int b I did this for reasons you'll see so we'll go over here d3d graphics.cpp just put this anywhere draw rect it's getting really fucking cold in my room now I'm gonna have to turn on the old uh, the old heater it's gonna make noise better finish this before I do it so we go we want to draw a rectangle we want to draw four lines so we go draw line four times and RGB So we want to draw from x1, y1, x2, y2. So we do uh, rect dot top. No, let's not do that. Let's do rect dot left. Rect dot top. So we go from top left to top right. So rect dot right. Rect dot top. All right, so top left, top right. Then we're going to go from top right. Oh, I don't want int. I never want int. Ever. Never, ever. Uh, yeah. I don't want an irect. What am I, fucking Apple computer? No, I'm not rect top to rect dot right uh, rect dot bottom and then we want to go from rect dot right rect dot bottom to rect dot left rect dot bottom and then we want to go, I don't know, we'll just do this one. Left top to left bottom. How's that? How do those, how do you like those apples? That seems fine. That seems fine. Let's build it. <clears throat> fingers getting cold, man. Dang old fingers getting dang old cold. Wait. 
Why is there an error? There's not supposed to be an error. Oh, okay. Yeah. That is also not acceptable. Not acceptable. I would find and replace you with empty space, but that's just too much thinking. I'm just going to do it this way. I'm going to do it the dumb slow way. I'm too hungry and cold to think. <sighs> Why do you not like this R? Too few arguments in function call. Draw a line. Four numbers and three color numbers. What do you want from me? Draw a line. One, two, three, one. Two. Why? Int R. Rect int int. Error. Too few arguments and I don't even know anymore. I'm just gonna leave it. I'm gonna say that IntelliSense is fucking me over again. As it is wont to do. Yeah, it worked fine. Okay, so IntelliSense is just fucking with me. Okay, thank you for that. Um now I wanna draw my uh, my little frame around my thing. So I'm gonna go to game. I'm gonna go here. Graphics.draw Rect. Uh, rect I. Okay, so the dimensions we're working with here are 200, 500, 200, 600. So we want maybe? I'm not really sure. 200. 500 600 this might need a little massaging uh, red green blue what do we got make it black black seems fine wait no but the, the tiles are black too we could make it a dark blue that would be Zero, zero, one hundred and twenty-eight. Kind of dark blue. Um, yeah. Let's build that. See how that works. Seems all right. Yeah, that's fine. That's good. I was going to draw more rectangles, make the border thicker, but fuck it. This is fine. I like it. So here we go. So here's how. You, that's how you do like a, a viewport. That's how viewports work. You could use it for fun and profit, I guess. But usually you're just gonna want to use your whole screen. But it's there. It's the functionality is in there for you, if you ever desire it. So now let's look at uh, thing. I wrote notes here about stuff I want to cover, but I can't read them now. Um, yeah, I think that's good. I think we got it. And we got it covered. We are solid. We're gold. We're good to go. Ah, oh, this is way too small. I want to make it bigger. So, let's go for it. 10 and uh, the bottom would be 590 yeah and here is 10 and 790 and we go down here 10 10 590 790 there we go Okay, now we got it. Yeah, now we got like a weird port thing. That's just like Shadowrun. But it's pra this game's practically Shadowrun, isn't it, for the Super Nintendo? Almost. Except it's a platformer. And there's nothing. There's no game. But besides that. <sighs> so, here's the part of the video where I ramble on. Let's try not to do too much of that. Because I want to eat. But, yeah, this was... Uh, this was... 
scrolling and stuff, and also uh, uh, templates. Yeah, that was good too. We had fun, didn't we? We had some times, but now our time is about to come to an end. And uh, let me just tell you, spoilers here, there's going to be a really ground-shaking announcement about the uh, about the tutorials, intermediate tutorials, the, uh, the platformer here, coming up in the next video, which will be in about maybe a, maybe a week, maybe a little less, maybe a little more, around a week. It's my time frame. I'm going to make a little video. It's going to be an announcement video. It's going to blow your mind, man. Or maybe not. Whatever. But, yeah, so look forward to surprises in the next video. As for this video, I think I'm about to call it a wrap. And, uh, yeah. If you've got any questions, comments, you want to tell Chili how swell a guy he is, you just come down, mosey on down to the forums, pay me a visit, uh... And uh, if not, then I guess I'll see you in the next video, which will be super exciting. So uh, count those sleeps until the time that I did not specify. But count them anyways. Goodbye.